Sí, amor. Que está tan linda. Está tan linda. Estoy tratando de hacer fotos de... Hola. Está lindo. Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Um, in this video, you see in the beginning me just taking some reference pictures of my garden and the, the surrounding areas that we've been visiting lately. Um, one is called Plurazel, and that's the beach area that you see. It's beautiful there. And then I go into me sketching in my sketchbook with the Ecoline markers and then I use the Carandash Neo Color 2s and it's just a wonderful experience. I've been enjoying making art lately in my sketchbook and it's becoming freer and looser and I just wanted to show you the process of doing it and hopefully you can join me. I'll be adding a link to the reference picture in the description down below. So if you want to, you can just like pop it up on another screen and draw along with me. So now I'm gonna switch over to voiceover while you guys watch me drawing my sketchbook. You guys have a great day, bye. Hey everyone, this is voiceover, sissy. So as you see, I already did like a yellow outline of the shape and I'm grabbing the gold 
marker of the eco lines to start doing the face because that was a darker color. I wanted to look for mid-tones to create the basic rudimentary shapes and I really wasn't going for a perfect outline, perfect sketch, a very realistic view of it. I was just trying to create a very rough shape of the monkey and of his face and the placement of the hands because I was going to go over it go over, go over it with more perfection you could say or more precision later and so it's a very loose exercise um, lately I have been enjoying as I've said before in other videos Emma Carlisle's Patreon and she has a very loose style of expression she just puts her lines down, makes blotches of color. And I've been a huge fan of that type of art. I also am a huge fan of vintage, you could say 1950, 1960s, mid-century children books, illustrations, where the printing um, mismatches sometimes. So you see that the line art is not exactly on the colors. And I've always loved that. I've absolutely always loved that, that like imperfection. And it seems just so, so magical to me. And so I wanted to create, create that in my own art. And it's been a journey. It has not been easy for me to create loose type of illustrations. I have always been very keen on creating like a quasi perfect rendition of things probably because of my artistic upbringing my mother is a realist artist painter oil painter like she she is a classical artist you could say and I would go to all the workshops and retreats with her and also all the artists that were going there and creating were realistic artists and painters even her her teachers were all you know these big masters of art and um, and so I was really trained to pay attention to detail the fine the fine qualities of things to perfect it the little strands of hair um, the delicate shadow placements the delicate um, creaminess of lighting that would cascade on to these references that we would be looking at and so it was very difficult for me to get away from that and to create something that felt more like me because that was just, it was too stressful to create these perfect renditions because to me, they were never perfect enough. There were always mistakes. I would always look back and feel ashamed of my art. While with what I'm creating now, I feel joy when I'm creating these things. It just feels so completely free and loose and perfect. So it's been a, a joy and my goal has always been to be a children's book illustrator and to be able to to tell the stories that I've been keeping. Like right now I'm working on this giraffe story. I'll insert a little picture here so you can see some of the illustrations that I've done so far of the giraffe story. And it's in the beginning stages. I'm currently only creating visual um, the visual part of the story. I have I have the idea but I haven't written it down yet because when it comes to writing, I need to be completely free of any other obligation. And obviously at the moment, I can't do that because it, when, when I write, it really takes me to another place and I need to completely forget about me and just be completely embodied in the story. Even if it's just a children's story, I haven't been able to sit down and write, but drawing I can do freely with my children. They love to draw and they'll sit down and draw with me. And they'll also try to draw what I'm drawing here. When I was drawing this monkey, my son, my youngest son was with me and he was also drawing with the markers. And since these are water-based markers, they're quite safe for him to use. And he loves to see how, how much ink comes out of them. But after I did all of the, um, the mid-tones, you could see, I grabbed my favorite graphite pencil. I believe this is the 3B pencil from Carandash, and I was just trying to give a bit more of a defined look to his face. And I was also playing around with how I was holding the pencil. That's something that Emma Carlyle um, 
was telling her patrons to try and do uh, in one of the live drawing sessions with a model. And I've really enjoyed this. I've really seen how my marks can change um, while creating. And I actually really enjoyed holding the pencil like you can see now in the video. It felt like I had more control and there was more power to the marks that I was leaving. And so you can really play around with how you're holding the pencil to express how you're feeling in the moment. I'm right now currently outside in my garden and there are all these birds. That's actually why I chose to be out here. I wanted the birds to be part of the recording because there are always so many birds when in the morning and pretty much throughout all day because I look close by to the woods and the house next door has a very lively garden, let's put it that way. And um, I'll insert a little picture or video of the garden so you can see how lively it is. And then here I was already adding the Neo colors. I want, I, this is my favorite blue color. I forget which one it is. I'll have to look at it again, but it's a very light blue, grayish, cold blue. And um, oh, it just went, it was so beautiful with the oranges and the sepias and the browns and the okras that I had used for, for the monkey. And I really enjoyed the texture and the feel that the neo colors have on top of the eco lines. Even when I'm using just the liquid inks or the markers, the way that it leaves a creaminess to it, I just absolutely love it. So yeah, so that's, uh, that's the monkey. I will leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video with some music. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe leave a comment, look for me on Instagram, tell me and show me the art that you're creating and have a wonderful day. Bye guys.
Thank you.